I think it's so weird that it says that, but whatever. Okay. Um, so tonight you guys, I'm super, super excited. Just like I was saying, um, we have special guest double diamond Katrina Tellis with us tonight. And I'm so excited because like I said, she's silent, but deadly. She works super consistently. You're always so focused. You're just very grounded. You've been in this business for a long time. I'm not going to tell her story. I'm actually going to have her share that first. But um, when we are talking Ruby and Diamond, I've watched her not only do this, but I've watched her teach it over and over and over again. Um, and her team is doing amazing. They're finding success. They're growing. They have awesome momentum. And so I just wanted her to be able to share that because I know there are so many people, whether you already are Ruby, it doesn't matter. You're teaching it, right? Or if you're on your way to Diamond, there's some really exciting things that happen at Diamond. Hold on, my computer always does these pop-ups. Um, and so we just really want to break that down. And you guys, this is the one thing that I absolutely love about our business. You get to choose how you do things, right? And so we all do things a little bit differently. However, the end result is the same, right? We want to be completing our steps to success. Why? Because it maximizes all the different ways we get paid. It will have you profiting every every single month. But on top of that, as we continue to teach that, you are going to have a very fast growing team. Okay. And so we want to keep those, those three simple steps in the back of our mind. And we talk about them all the time. Right. And so the truth is, is that it does work. The system works that they have laid out for us. And it even works. It already takes into, you know, the shifting that happens amongst teams or people falling a little short sometimes and then overdoing it the next month. Like it, it takes all that into consideration. But tonight we are going to focus on Ruby, going Ruby, how to teach Ruby and duplicate that. And then also diamond. Okay. So, um, Katrina, she is a mom of four. She still works full time. You guys loves what she does. She's always done it. She's a teacher. Um, and she's a double diamond in our company and working on her way to triple diamond. So we're going to start with Ruby. And the first thing I want to show you guys is again, we always talk about this, but is your map. This is what Ruby looks like. Okay. So if you're not here yet, this would be your goal. And this is really step three of your steps to success. And it's an average of $474 a month, right? That's your commission check. And then also on top of that, if you are building your own team, you can earn $450 in weekly bonuses. Plus right now, as you build and you help customers, you can also get weekly bonuses. So they are always adding things on. And that's one thing that I hands down absolutely love. And then um, Katrina is going to teach you. So you can see this here, right? We talk about this a lot. Your maps can be printed out in your e-suite so that you have a visual. I always say like, you have got to see what, where you're going. If you can't see it and you're just like, I'm just gonna try to like hope things fall into place. They just don't. But when you actually bring some intention and some direction and you have some motivation behind it, I promise you, you can get there. And, and you will never regret no matter how long it takes you, it doesn't matter, okay? You will never regret just keep working and focusing on this. You might have some things shift and that's why I do mine in pencil, um, but this will lead you where you need to be. And I'm sure Katrina will touch on that, but you guys, I didn't know a thing about a thing when I started or when I went Ruby. Um, obviously going Emerald, I slowly knew because I knew how to get to Ruby, right? But the truth is, is this is what I followed and then I just committed to learning something every single day, whether that be like reading questions that were posted on a team page or in a team chat, or I would ask questions. And then also I made sure I did something for my business every single day. And then I followed this. I always say like, if you can read and you can apply what you're hearing and learning, like you are going to absolutely kill it in this business. Okay. So I wanted to show you what Ruby looks like, but she's going to give you like, all the meat and potatoes of how she got there, how she duplicates it on her team, and just her best tips with that. So first, Katrina, though, just share a little bit about your story. She's good at this because we do this on the opportunity call. <laughs> you have to do it like real fast. You don't have to do it as fast today. But just share with them how you got started, like how long you've been in and what It Works has done for you. Okay. All right, guys. So um, like Sarah said, my name is Katrina Tayas. If you haven't met me yet, I've been with It Works Now for seven years next month. So July 19th is my seventh year. Um, 
it will be my seventh year. So crazy, right? The time just goes by. When I joined, I went to a wrap party. And so I'm always curious to know, like, did you join at a party? Did you join online? Did you just join by meeting somebody? So it'd be cool if you guys want to drop that in the chat. It's really neat to see how people join because that is it. like where you will find people is the way you were found, right? So I joined at a wrap party. I showed up um, just to try a wrap because I did see the wrap on Facebook. I went to a wrap party. I tried a wrap. They wrapped me there, you know, drink some water, hang out 45 minutes. Let's see your results. That's just so brilliant because during the time that the wrap is working, you're like talking, right? It's awesome. They, you can't leave. And within 45 minutes, I was a, a distributor. I didn't think about it. I didn't overthink it. I didn't know what I had my hands on. I liked one product and decided if I could get a discount, earn some free wraps, like cool, right? So I joined. Um, I get home, I tell my husband, oh, you know, these wraps are great. And I'm a distributor. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know anything about it, but you know, we'll figure it out. So this box shows up. I kind of tuck it away, still don't really know what I have my hands on. Um, just start telling my, my warm circle, right? Those people who make you chicken noodle soup when you're sick, those people, like my mom, my best friend, my, my coworker, um, about these products. And they start signing as loyal customers. And I still, at that point, didn't quite realize what I had my hands on. And then something clicks when I see these charts. Ruby was the first chart that I saw, and I'm like, oh, so if three friends join me at that time it was five now it's three if my friends join me i can make 500 dollars a month so now i've gone from okay i can earn some free products to 500 dollars a month that's the difference between payday to payday that i needed that's the payday to credit card to payday life you know that i was living and so a, a little piece a little background about me i um at the time i had three kids i now have four boys i had three at the time and being a teacher, money was tight. And there's just this, this moment that you just, you know, you have these moments that you just can't erase from your mind. And maybe, maybe we just don't want to, but a few days before payday, I pull up to a gas station. My oldest son had become the man of my house because I had gone through a divorce and he, you know, he was just really mommy's little man of the house. And he had learned how to pump the gas. Like it was his thing. Can I pump the gas? And I'm like, yeah, maybe you can pump the gas. And I had shown him, he knows what to do. He's 11. And he's like, how much do I put? And I'm like, oh, you know, put whatever it was, $20 or $10. And because it's day or two days before payday. And he gets in the car and he's like, mom, I put, you know, 25 or 30. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like you just overdrafted my bank account. Now I have an overdraft fee. I am losing my crap in a circle k parking lot because i put too much gas in my tank because it's that payday to payday that i didn't have right and so that moment is in my head today when commissions hit my account and i get that email that my commission that's the moment that hits my mind so this business has done more i have goosebumps i wish you could see through zoom my goosebumps because every month i fill those goosebumps i it's a game changer. I have been able to not only put gas in my car, but put gas in all my kids' cars as they became drivers, buy all my kids a car cash as they became drivers. I've been able to go on vacations and pay cash for all of those things and pay off credit cards. And, you know, my fridge is always full. Like it's those things that you don't have to say, wait until Paige, sweetheart, because I can do it now. I have a fourth son now. It's been almost seven years, right? Since I've been in the business. And he's like, mommy, can we go looking at Pokemon cards today? That's what we did today. I, I didn't have to think, is it payday? Can I do this? Can we swing it? You know, whatever. But I mean, going from not being able to put gas in my car to buying all my kids a car cash and putting gas in all those cars. If you know how much gas a teenager uses, like it's not even right. It, I don't know what they do. Like they drive in circles at night. So anyway, that's kind of my story. That's what, I mean, I went from this girl who wanted to try a wrap to once I saw and learned that Ruby chart, game changer. That is the game changer. Knowing the Ruby chart, understanding the Ruby chart and being able to do it and duplicate it. And so that, you know, you might meet somebody who's just interested in the rap, but don't dismiss their ability to rock this business because 
who the girl who signed me had no, no idea and that's actually a complicated little thing but it, it got weird but it had you know that's another story the girl who invited me didn't sign me and somebody else did and i didn't understand how it all worked so whoopsie there and they didn't realize i was going to stick around for seven years you know so it was a little complicated but here i am so hey but you know you never know the girl who's just signing a you know trying to wrap could be your next double diamond on your downline so like just put it out there and some people are impulsive like i am and they will sign if you ask them to they will just do it and then they'll learn it later. And so I'm a paper printer highlight kind of person. I'm a teacher, right? I want to hold it all and like spread it all around my dining room table. So I printed everything. I printed the Ruby chart and all of the other charts and I lay them out and I didn't have a zoom to teach me or a, anything like that. We weren't doing all of this yet. I printed it all out and I looked at it. And what I saw is okay, Ruby. And I'm like, I can 100% do this. And like, once you believe you can do it and you set your you know, vision on it and like, just do it, you learn it, you do it. But then I looked at emeralds and diamonds. And if you know, you know, because you look at emerald and diamond and double diamond, all I see when I look at those charts is how many rubies are on them. I don't see an emerald chart and a diamond chart. It's the way that I think I see rubies. I see how many rubies are on those charts. So the first thing I had to do was, well, realize what I had my hands on and look at the look at it, right? It, I had to learn ruby. I had to know it with my eyes closed. Like I had to know who was in which box. I had to know how to subtract any number from 400 at any given time because I need to know how much BV I need in that box. Like, how much is that sale worth? Which box do I need it in? And know where you need it. So you need to know your Ruby chart. And once you've learned it and you rank to Ruby, then you need to teach Ruby to those people on your chart. And then they teach Ruby and you continue to teach Ruby. And that is honestly what we did. That's all we did. But it wasn't just learn it and woo, here comes the volume. So I want to touch on how I got the volume to rank up to Ruby, to Emerald, to Diamond, to Double Diamond. So they were pretty um, back to back within my first year, I hit Double Diamond. And at that time we had bonuses and I earned a, well, it was a total of 30,000. I don't remember what each one was, like 20 and 10 or something. So I earned 30,000 in these good bonuses that year, which were insane. Those good bonuses paid out every month for two years. They seriously like covered my mortgage, just the bonus, not my commissions, not my teaching job, just the good bonus. Crazy, right? Crazy. So I had to stay at my rank to keep getting those checks every month of the bonus, right? The commissions keep coming. That's how you, you maintain that bonus payment and I did for two solid years maintain double diamond um I had a really big team we were doing a lot of in-person training we were meeting at pizza places and little conference rooms in my kitchen wherever this person's house that person's house and all I was teaching I wasn't teaching scripts I wasn't teaching what to say I wasn't teaching about the products I was teaching the ruby chart over and over and over again and that was it i was teaching the ruby chart and that's how i got to double diamond. because once if i say to somebody who just joins my team look this is the diamond chart i know you can do this it's like so overwhelming baby steps people show them the ruby chart teach them the ruby chart and then you build more ruby so how we built the volume it was fun i kind of really challenged myself a lot i did a lot of belly to belly i did a lot of house parties I did a lot of wrapping people before school and after school. Like Sarah said, I'm a full-time teacher. At the time I was teaching special education. Um, I teach all day public education. I'm teaching special ed right now too for summer school. Um, lots of fun and I wrapped. Here's the thing with the business. You braid it in to your life. It doesn't take over your life. It doesn't become or define exactly who I am. I am still Katrina. I am still a mom of four boys. I am still a special ed teacher, but I am proud to still be a networks distributor also. It's braided into what I do and it works around my schedule. So I was able to just wrap 
every you guys i wrap people like every, like sometimes can you wrap the top of my thigh sure baby let's go like i mean i'm wrapping thighs and arms and bellies we we're getting down at these parties and i would go to a party and i would look at how many people are in the room and i would tell my other like i would work with another distributor right they're usually like her party and i'm there to work with her and i would say 15 girls in the room we're signing 15 loyal customers today. And we did it every single time. We closed every single person in that room. They didn't leave without signing. It's harder, I feel like, for me to sign 15 customers in a day on social media, right? Because people get busy in the conversation with you. They see your post and then they go to work or they see your post and then they come back to you later. I've been texting this girl since Friday. I mean, I don't know what's happening, but then she'll reply and then I'll reply. You know, it takes a little longer sometimes. I'll talk more about social media because social media, it's awesome and it's primarily what I do now. But belly to belly, 15 people in the room, I'm going to sign 15 people that day. And we did it. And we knew when we went into those parties, where do I need the volume? Where do I need the 400 boxes? Which boxes are close to 400? Which boxes are almost there? And where am I going to put these loyal customers today? I'm going to move them today. So the way we would sign them is first, we'd get wraps on people. You guys, that's not out of style. Our wraps are better than they've ever been. Get the wraps on people. And that allows you time to have conversations and you're making wrap cash. Yeah, Drew's talking about it. We made so much wrap cash. I had cash in my wallet. Like who has cash in their wallet? You debit everything. I had cash in my wallet all the time because I did so many wrap parties. And we would then get everybody sitting around visiting with wraps on. First thing I would do in these little parties is say, okay, I'm going to do a raffle at the end of the party for a free wrap. So here's a few ways that you can get a raffle. I'm going to give you a couple of these tips tonight, just because if you leave here inspired to go belly to belly, I want you to be able to lock in 14 loyal customers tomorrow. And so when you go into these belly to belly situations, you do little raffles. And so I would say, okay, wear at the time green to the party and um, you can earn a point. But something that really worked and started to bring social media into what we were doing is I want you to tag me that you're at a wrap party with Katrina tonight. And when your friends start commenting, you'll start earning raffle tickets to earn a free wrap, a free wrap tonight. Now I'm growing my network while I'm sitting with you 15 people. I've just met 45 new people on social media. And I'm going to talk to them now about products and business, right? So we just blew that up. We were totally hosting a post without knowing we were hosting a post. It was crazy. Um, so then once they get, they're, they're wrapping, they are amazed with the results. Who's not? They want the reps. There's not a question about do they want the reps. They want the reps. Now, how am I going to give the wraps to them? Or am I going to sign you as a retail, retail customer? Most of the time that, that like never happened. It was a loyal customer. So are you going to be a loyal customer when you leave my party? Are you going to be a distributor when you leave my party? Um, I feel like there was a third answer there. Loyal customer or distributor when you leave the party, right? I don't know where else my mind was going, but I guess retail is an option. And, you know, how, oh, the other thing, they want it, but maybe they can't afford it. So the third option I always gave, which I almost forgot to say, is, okay, I can sign you guys up as a loyal customer tonight, a distributor tonight, or I can put you on a layaway for a loyal customer or a distributor. And they're like, what, she has layaway? So I print the loyal customer agreement form and all I did was sign them up, but hold it right on the top of the paper, what day you want me to run it. Call it a layaway, call it a hold, call it what you want. I've got your order, I've got your card information, you've decided you want these products, I'm going to run that order in four or five days when you get paid. Don't make anybody feel bad about not having money to buy the stuff that night because let's not forget where some of us might have started. And so I always gave that layaway option. I know women want these things. They want to feel more confident. They want those products. So loyal customer distributor or let's do a little layaway order. And we just locked it all in. The volume was fast and heavy and we had to know where to move it. And we had to know the Ruby chart. Like we had to have that memorized, right? You had to know your Ruby chart and everybody else is Ruby. Um, so I'm normally not a big notes person, but I am glancing at them because I want to make sure I give you guys everything I was thinking about learning Ruby and teaching Ruby. The other thing that I really want to say that has been huge for me and for 
And probably the main reason I've been in it for seven years is just the team building that we've done within the team. I truly, truly like love my girls. Like I talk to these distributors on my team. I didn't even call them distributors. That felt weird, but my friends <laughs> every single day, every day. And the conversations are not just about the business. I, I would say there's a pretty good split, but they're about everything else because we've built real relationships. And, and I really love that that is different in this than my day job. Sometimes I leave my day job and like, I don't want to talk to those people until August when I have to go back to work, right? There's people in those day jobs that you don't, some that I love, but some that you don't choose to work with. I didn't build that team. I didn't build that school. You're building your team. Bring in the people you want to talk to that you want them to be, oh, I love you too. See, there's so much love. I'm not even kidding. And so bring in people that you just want to love on and that you want to grow your business with. Think about those people that you want to hang out, that you want to you know, hang out with, you want to spend time with. Those are the people you want on your team. And once they learn it, they'll want it too. It's just some people don't know that they want it yet. Um, so really, truly love on your team. Pour in your team, pour into your team. Make sure you know that you want it for them, that you want. I went diamond by accident. I went diamond by helping other people go ruby. I wasn't necessarily set out to go diamond. I was set out to go to help people that I cared about go Ruby. I wanted them to have $500 a month in their pocket like I had now. But by doing that, and that is such the beauty, like it's such a beautiful system, right? We help our friends make that extra $500 a month and now we are diamond. And then we help more of them do it. And then our really good friends like, I wanna do this. And then we help them go there and there and there. My goal right now, is helping friends on my team go diamond. I mean, obviously that will rank me up further, but my goal is, is focused on them going diamond. Like, how are we gonna make that happen? And we're, what do we need to do you know, to, to make it happen? And who, is your, who are your rubies underneath you and on yours? Um, like I said, I did maintain my double diamond rank for two years straight. Um, solid with like an abundance of volume and I do think that the volume came from the the rap parties and the events we did work country thunder and we worked the Tucson rodeo if there was anything big we were there and we were signing I think our biggest was like 26 customers in a day and then it was a five-day event and we did that every single day it was crazy that's a big way to get out there and do it however some of us like you have a day job or you have children or young children and the whole point of this business is for you to be home more with your children or your family. That's the beauty of social media. I now am working at, honestly, like almost 100% for my phone. Um, and I had to become more confident in learning a new way. It's the same thing. Don't get tied up on what's the script? What do I say? What do I post? How do I do this? Say what you would say at the wrap party. Say what you would say at the event. Just know your products know how to respond when people say, well, what, what's in that product or which product should I take for this? Like know your products, all your product information is in your e-suite. Um, something I did like, because I did tell you I'm a paper pencil highlighter. I go through more ink on my printer than anything. Like, it's not right. But I print all of the product information and have a binder. Um, that binder would go to the wrap parties with me. I still have the binder because I, I can't remember everything, but if I'm at a wrap party, I didn't have a script. It was, well, what's in the greens? Well, how many superfoods are in the whatever? I had a binder and I could be like, oh, it's right here, check it out while I talk to somebody else. You still need that information when you're working 100% social media. Like you need to know your products and you need to be using your products, but you need to know your products so that you can teach those to everybody else. Um, Exactly, exactly. Like you, you really just need to know the products um, and be able to have regular conversations. Like you don't want to sound robotic or, or like a script, like know who you're talking to and, and give a little love to the customers that you're talking to before you jump right into, hey girl, you want to buy my product? You know, have real conversations, even though we're doing those conversations now through social media. Um, be consistent and that's kind of how we, um, 
just stayed with it. You went from doing it this way to this way to this way, but you do it every day. I don't think there's been a day in seven years that I haven't posted about my business, like honestly a day, like ever, because I'm using the products. So why not post about that? If I know that I'm going to have a super busy, hectic week, um, and this might be something that you're all already doing, but if you're not, um, just banking my post and banking my photos on Saturday, going through and finding on Pinterest or old things that I posted or things from other friends and just banking those in the top of my photos, taking selfies because I did my hair that day on my makeup and I'm like, dang, I'm looking good today. Take some good pictures, save those. Now I have a cluster of photos on Saturday morning that I have for the rest of the week. So when I'm running late and it's like, well, how is she working her business and teaching full time and raising kids? Well, she actually prepared all of that on Saturday. That's how I work at work. I make a lesson plan on Friday and it runs me through the next entire week of teaching. I don't go in each day into my classroom and think, what should I teach today? Um, no, I can't function like that. I have my week figured out. I do that with pictures and posts and videos and things like that too. I also spiral things back in. You know, if you've taken 9 million videos of you making coffee and you are not feeling it this week and you are not able to get those posts up, but you don't want to shut the doors to your business because your customers need to know you're open, pull your old videos up, change a song, put a new font, like they think it's a new video. Just keep posting, bank some stuff. If you've been in it for a little while, I mean, even with a weekend, take a weekend, make a coffee video, make a, you know, red video, make a hydrate video, take a video of you doing your skincare. I actually stole a really fun idea from Riley with that. She like went through all her skincare. She's like, she's so adorable. And it went like super fast video, but then you could hear her talking through it behind. So like I did that. It was on, we used Instagram to do it. Was it a real, like, I, I don't know what I did, but it was so cool. And you could just save it and then just like reuse it. So do the things, like do the things. You don't have to do all the things. You have to do the things. You have to know Ruby. I mean, wanting it and manifesting it and visualizing it. I'm all about mindset and positivity. You can't be like, I can't do this and then think you're going to do it. Like cut it out. I got this. I'm going to do this. You have to know you can do it, but you have to do the things. And so know Ruby, know where you need the volume, know where you need the, the distributors, and then come up with your game plan. Come up with your lesson plan. That's how my life works. Come up with your lesson plan. How am I going to make this happen? How am I going to get $400 in volume under her? Well, what's she going to do to make that happen? So then you connect with that distributor and say, how are we going to get you to the 400 club? That's the first big woohoo in my team. Let's get you to the 400 club, right? And so you, well, first you're going to run an ADBV. We're going to subtract that from 40. It's like second grade math up in here. And now we know how much more volume we need to get that box to 400. It's seriously one wrap party. Get me belly to belly with your group of people and we've got a 400 box. But we're working social media and we still want to give that option. So I will throw it out. But if we want to do it this way, then how are you going to do it? How many hosted posts is that going to take? How many stories is that going to take? How are you going to follow up to the people that viewed your story or commented on your story? How are you going to leave a call for action at the end of your story? What is the action? Like, what is the plan? What are you doing to make that happen? So just posting isn't enough. There has to be follow through and follow up constantly. I do think that when you look at those boxes and you think, okay, I need, you know, her, her, and her to get to this, this, and that, people are going to do so much more when they're loved on. Treat your team um, just like your friends. Want it for them and show them how to do it. You can't want it for them more than they want it for themselves. So I learned that throughout this process. Um, and I will share, it hasn't just been a steady climb. It was a steady climb for a strong uh, period. And I, and I do want anybody who might be on here who's lost rings before to know that I, um, I feel you there because it does happen. It's, it's a roller coaster. Um, it just, it's a roller coaster. And I think part of that is that we definitely changed the way in which we were working it and we had to learn something new. I do think also that sometimes we want it so bad for somebody else 
more than they want it for themselves that we keep them from quitting for a really long time when they were just ready to go. It's not for everybody. Focus on the people that it is for. Like don't drain your energy into a hundred boxes when you have 15 people working. Know where your energy needs to go. Focus on the people who are working their business and that's how you're gonna build a, a really solid diamond. So I did lose rank. Uh, at one point when I had, um, you know, some people left my team and some people weren't on my team anymore because I literally made everybody I know join my team when I started. Every best friend from fourth grade, my mom, my 80 year old grandmother, my aunt, my cousins, everybody was on my team, everybody. Well, at some point, it's not for everybody. And so some of those people are going to fade off and you might lose rank, but you just keep building and you know who's there. I also have people on my team who have been here for six years and they're lifers and who I've met just in the past two or three years, but you, they've got work, at, work ethic like I haven't seen in, in most of the time I've been with at work. So, you know, join or get the right people on your team. Don't worry too much about the people who aren't putting the work in. Um, something that is different for me with It Works, and this is kind of something that I'm, I mean, I know everybody's kind of probably got stuff to do, but I really want to make sure to touch on layered leadership. So it's really important that you build a team that builds leaders. Um, I felt like in the beginning, I had to hold everybody's hands. I had to um, do every party with everybody and every event. I had to be involved in every conversation and every, you know, well, tell me, tell me what she says and I'll tell you what to say. Like, you know, just constantly, um, there's a difference between teaching it and just holding, holding, holding hands. You want to build leaders that can do this business because they need to be able to teach it to their downline and you're going to build strong layered leadership. And that's what we have now. That's what my team has now. My team is smaller and stronger than it's been in seven years because there's true leaders on my team who not only lead their downline, but they lead sideline like, like you wouldn't believe. Riley and Drew are both on here tonight. They are sideline on my team and they are like, this. I mean, back and forth in our personal lives and in our business. So building layered leadership where people understand that lighting somebody else's candle is not gonna take away from theirs. And that's like the way we see our team. And we know that by helping you, does it take away from her or back and forth? So loving on your team, building that layered leadership and knowing that Ruby chart, you know, if one of your distributors calls you and says, where should I put this new distributor or this new customer that I sign? I've pulled out a napkin in a Mexican food restaurant and drawn an emerald chart and been like, I think she should go here and you need volume here without a chart in front of me because you know your charts. I like to use um, mapping stuff out. I use a big whiteboard and I just can constantly erase and draw on it, but print out the papers, have them in your car, have them in your purse, have them wherever you are and know your chart and then teach your chart, teach your Ruby. So I feel like I'm talking like a mile a minute because I just wanted to make sure I got so much in here. Um, it's all so good though. And, and you guys, just like when you're listening, there's just things that I take out and that I hear and you're going to hear every time you're on a Zoom and you know, like she, like Katrina was saying, you guys, we didn't have this. So, I mean, we had our tools, like what we had, and we had a text message with whoever had signed us up or whatever it was, but you hear some of the same things over and over and over. Very few people promote who don't have a map in their hand, okay? Whether it's printed, whether it's drawn out, whatever it is. So that is so dang important. And then the other thing that I want you to hear too is let's when you speak of the products, whether it be that you're sharing what you're doing, offer a sample and know that our products speak for themselves and that turns into a customer. And if you actually go the extra mile and ask the simple question of like, hey, not only could you use these products, but at discount, but have you, would you be interested in being able to share the products at discount and make some extra money from home and alongside me? It is that simple. Like that is what we would do, whether it's belly to belly, or via social media, right? And I always tell people, we did do belly to belly. If you can get there or any time that I had a potential that wanted to hear information on the business, you guys, 
if they weren't driving distance to me, like I freaking hopped in a car and we went to Starbucks. Like there is something about that. And like Katrina's saying, it's, I mean, honestly, nine out of 10 times, maybe even more, that person was joining. And so no, when you hear that, okay, so we can't be belly to belly, or maybe you're still in a country that is like, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> like you're not leaving your house. But you know what you can do is you can be live on your stories and you can actually converse through voice messages so people can hear you as a person instead of just seeing, you know, pre-made stories or whatever it may be. Um, and so, and then like she said, breaking it down and I'm going to show you with numbers, a breakdown and you guys, this, as we go in and we talk about like why you want to be and go diamond. And once you can get that Ruby down, I mean, truly it is exactly that. And I'm going to tell you, even if you don't have somebody on your team yet, that's okay. You will get them. Just know that, but you also have to offer it. You have to talk about the business. You have to talk about what you're doing with it, what you're excited about. And you have to ask the question, like Katrina said, she's like, I didn't know all the ins and outs before I said yes. Your people don't need to know all the ins and outs of the business before they say yes and know that you will learn a lot of the ins and outs together, right? You learn by doing and then you teach it. Like literally that is what we were taught to do. And we did not veer, what that's not the right paper. We did not veer from our steps to success. Like, so it's funny, Katrina, when I hear you say like, I have a binder and I have this, you guys, I had a freaking binder too. Like who had a binder? Like drop a one in the chat. I'm telling you, there is something to be said about having the resources right at your fingertips. I don't care if you can look it up on your phone. <laughs> like I'm telling you, there is something about seeing things that helps you, okay? And so I wanna, first I do wanna ask you this though. What did it do to your business and your mindset for this business when you went Ruby? What, like, what did that do for you? You know, going Ruby was, like it blew me away. I thought that, like, you know, you, you tell yourself you can do it. And even when I hit Ruby and I'm, I mean, I'm like the, the last day ranking up, right? So I'm watching the, the volume by distributor, like the title. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I did it. Like I'm Ruby and like, Oh, but, and then I'm waiting to see like, what's the commission. And then I see what it is. And I'm thinking, how, like, how can this pay me like this? This is crazy. Right. Um, Ruby was exciting for me. Ruby was, it gave me a sense of calm. I knew that payday to payday wasn't going to be such a big deal anymore. I had this money coming in between and I was having fun. I felt very much like I accomplished something that I set out to do. But once I hit that, that's where my fire blew up. Like where I was like, if I can do that, I can teach every person I know to do it and we'll just all ringed up, right? We're going to just climb, climb the ladder here. And it was that first year that I then hit double diamond. I have all these rubies, you know, I kept, what we said was, let's pop a ruby. That was the thing. I would look at a chart. I would say, all right, girls, let's pop a ruby. And we'd say, who's it going to be? And sometimes we were building rubies. We didn't always have working distributors. We had distributors working to build rubies sometimes. And however we had to do it, but we just kept saying, let's pop a ruby. And we did, we popped so many rubies that year. I actually went on the It Works cruise and that was from popping rubies. You got so many points per ruby under you, right? It was all about the ruby. But I will tell you my mindset and just the, the really big aha moment, it was ruby, like Sarah, Sarah, I knew that when I hit ruby that I was in a business, not just a hobby. Like I knew it was real money. I knew there was something to be done with this. But when I got my 1099 and it was more, and my W-2 that year for teaching, that was like, what? Like, how am I making more with this business than I'm making? I'm, I teach all day. I'm bringing this business into my life and I'm teaching all day. It's just crazy. Um, oh, exactly. We're just popping rubies and we're going on cruises. Like, it was just, that's all we were doing was just, we were popping rubies, but that blowing up a 1099 bigger than a W-2, I mean, it's insane to me. I went to school for six years to be a special ed teacher. And in one year, I've learned a lot. I don't think today I know it all. I, I keep learning the business. Sometimes I'm like, what's a sell? When's it end? Like, cause things, you know, you got to stay on top of stuff. But I learned a lot in a year and, 
and was able in one year to learn and work. And that's the difference is that to be a teacher, I had to do school for six years before I could start earning. And with this, we're learning and working. And so in six years to become a teacher, well, six years in this business, I have earned way too much while I've been learning, right? Like you're earning and learning at the same time. It's insane. Like the vision. That's something that's so big, you guys. And that's why, like, I do not make, and I don't say this, but like, when I'm speaking to potentials, I do not make this like the biggest decision of their life because I'm like, it's not that big of, like, yes, you take a chance. But the thing is, is you take bigger chances. Like I took a bigger chance investing every single year to go through nursing school. I didn't know if I was going to pass the classes. I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know how hard they were, but yet I was going to come out with 60 grand, right? They are spending $99 or even less if you have a promo code. And so that's the kind of the crazy thing about some of this is like, you guys, the more you simplify the business and break it down to your steps to success, right? knowing like, okay, if I complete my steps to success, I'm profiting. I am profiting no matter what, right? Because you have fast start bonuses, all those things in there, plus you have your commission check. But you also get to know that, and this is what I was going to say, when you go Ruby, I, first of all, if you aren't Ruby yet, I want you to visualize what $450 in weekly bonuses would do for you. Because that is step three, okay? Now that motivated me to get uncomfortable to ask and to approach people and to know that I'm not bringing them in for me, but I am going to bring them in and I'm going to teach them how to do something for them, right? It's not just, what are you gonna do for me? Like ever. And so, but that excited me. If somebody trusted me enough to do that, I was like, girl, what would this mean to you? I knew what $400 meant to my team. I knew what these fast start bonuses meant to my single mom that's working her butt off right? I knew what that meant. And I'm telling you when you can get into that, like you were talking about do more than just like, I love getting to know my team. Like I want to know how many kids they have. I want to know where they met their husband. Like I want to know their story because it does make working so much fun and it has so much meaning behind it. And I swear when you have meaning behind those things, you are more willing to work hard for those things. And the motivation is there. It's not about you know, Katrina saying a uh, one liner that motivates you to go whatever. It's more so this belief and understanding, like I just went Ruby. If I just did that and I didn't know a thing about a thing and I didn't know all the questions to ask when I started, so can this girl and so can this mom and so can this teacher. Like that's what it's all about, right? And so Ruby is so dang important. So I want you guys to think like if you're not there yet, first of all, what would $450 in weekly bonuses when you help three people and you teach them how to get their first six customers, what would that pay for you? What would it do for you? What would it cover for your, you and your family? Like know what that is. And then I, and then on top of that, that's not it. Like you have to know that you have a commission check coming that could be an average from 300 to $500. And then on top of that, if they have random bonuses like they do right now for five loyal customers, why wouldn't you push yourself? Even if you fall short, I can guarantee you, you guys, I've fallen short on so many goals, but even falling short has me so much further ahead than if I went to push for them. That's what you have to understand. Like there's a reason why you kind of set goals that are a little far out because guess what? If you do and you fall short, you're probably going to still be ahead of where you were originally. Right. And so know what those things mean to you. And then I also will tell you this, um, is knowing what that really means to your team. And then I want to show you guys this. I'm going to take you off just the highlight thing for just a second. And then we're just going to touch on just the difference. There's not a big difference. That's the crazy thing. There's not a huge difference between what you do to go Ruby and what you do to go diamond. It's the same thing, but you have just more people working and more moving parts. So like Katrina said, right, we have maps, we have, we're putting in the work, we're talking about the products, we're inviting people into the business. She's like, I wanted everybody I knew to be in this with me. Well, why wouldn't you? An extra $200 even a month for people, that's a, that's a game changer. I don't even know the statistic, but there's a statistic that says like most, like, what is it? Lisa, I feel like you always know this one, but it's like the average American that's close to bankruptcy is literally like $500. Like a $500 difference would stop that from happening. Yeah, I mean, one, they say they're one paycheck away from losing everything. 
Okay, so that is crazy, you guys, to even think about, right? And the thing is, is you're not going to know that. People aren't just like, that's not what they're posting about. Like, they, they don't want to share that, right? But if you're excited and you're open to helping people and you keep talking about that, that person that is praying for help or an answer is going to reach out and accept the help that you're giving. Okay, so you have to remember that. But I want to show you something. This breakdown also works for diamond and it's absolutely incredible and it goes right along with our steps to success and it goes right along with what Katrina was saying you okay so you have four people total on your Ruby chart this includes you okay so there's you and then you have your three you have to look auto ship is our first step right those are products that you're gonna either use so that you can speak of the product share when you're using it share when you're making your coffee all those things generate income for you they generate enrollments for you it is not just there to say like hey use these products like it is there for a reason because most of us are not salespeople, right? We're coming in, we have all these other tricks and trades that we have going on and we've never done a business like this. But what's amazing is that they have it laid out for us. But here's the thing. So you have four people that have their 80 BV auto ship on, right? So 80 times four is 320. This might be backwards for you. I don't know if it is. I'm sorry if it is. No, it's right? Yeah. Okay. So, and then each of you, so our steps, step two, right, is six loyal customers. Right. And so your new distributors are already going for that because they want that free product. I want them to get the free product. Like it's, it's incredible. It's more products for them to talk about. Um, it's more sample cash. If you have that person that's like, I need the cash now. Amazing. We have that opportunity. Not all companies do. Okay. So, but here's the thing. If you thought of this and you broke it down and you each had seven loyal customers with a 60 BV order. Okay. That's a pick three right now right? Our pick three is 60 BB. Incredible. The pick two and pick three, I'm sure you guys are already seeing. It's amazing. I mean, people love that. So you have to think if there's that, so 60 times seven is 420. Okay. So again, you could even take this if you were like, guess what? If this is your second month with all these people and they got six that month and six the next month, you're gonna have more than this, okay? So that's even going Ruby in two months, if you're thinking about that. If you're like, whoa, seven's a lot in one month. I'm gonna tell you it's not. Unless you're telling people that it is, there are people who sign 10 loyal customers in three weeks of starting this business, all off of pure excitement and just talking about stuff, okay? So no, like up your ante for your team. Like I say that all the time. I'm like, it is not my job to tell somebody like I should always be saying like, you can do this and in more, you know what I'm saying? You want to believe big in them. And so you have to know that there's that that's 420. You take 420. This is the volume from the customers seven. If you guys are coming together and you're committing, you're like, we are each going to do this. Right. And you take that, that's 1,680. So when you add your volume from the auto ships, the volume from the customers, which I know many of you enroll more than 60 BV per customer, you are at 2000 GV and you are Ruby. Okay. So that is running auto ships and each person committing to their seven loyal customers. That's it. You guys, that's what it is. And what is crazy is that this, this formula works for you to get diamond, except for you just have more moving parts right? You have more people. So Ruby, you have four diamond, you have 16 and you have three rubies instead of just yourself as Ruby. You now have those three people that have joined you. You are teaching them how to make that 400 to $500 monthly average, right? And now within doing that and having promotions within your team, you're promoting to diamond. So I want to tell you why diamond right? We talk about diamond all the time. And I remember this being a big deal too, when I joined and I was like, dude, I don't even know if I can break even, but I'm telling you each time you prove a step to yourself and you're like, well, I am going to break even, or I am going to go executive, or I am going to sign a DT. You are going to start doing those things. But if you continuously tell yourself, I can't do that. That's too hard. I don't know. I don't have time for that. Blah, blah. At, there's some point that you have to make a decision to not talk negatively to yourself to remind yourself that you started this because you wanted to do this because you know what it can do for you. And that's a huge shift for people to understand. And you know what, when I came in, 
I knew what doing all the things at my job was getting me. And I love that. And that was amazing. But I was ready for more. I was ready to fast track for my family. I wanted a house. I wanted to pay off my student loans. I wanted to have free up more money because I had kiddos. And it's like, you don't know when they're going to get sick. You don't know when they might need, you know, surgery or whatever it may be. I just wanted to feel prepared. And knowing that when you feel prepared, you have much more peace in your life, right? Instead of thinking like, it's almost like you get to be proactive instead of reactive. And that was so big. That was something that I would, I wanted to work for. Um, and so you guys, why diamond, right? Why diamond? Here's the thing. When you go diamond, those faster bonuses that we talk about, you now, instead of just, you still get that 150 in the weekly, but you also get to add an extra 80 that comes onto your commission check. And then that 80 can multiply. Okay. So say I signed up Brie after I go diamond and Brie is over here earning fast starts because she's doing her step three every single time, right? She, when she earns a fast start, I earn 80. When she does, when her team earns a fast start, you earn 80. So they joke all the time, but it's really not a joke, but it's like you go diamond and you have the license to literally print money just for teaching Ruby over and over and over and over again. Like never underestimate that $300 to $500, you guys. It is doable for people. It seems achievable. And just getting that taste is what brought Katrina to Diamond. It's what brought me to Diamond in three months. It's what earned Katrina bonuses. It's what earned me bonuses, right? And so there you get that. Next, you can also, you get to link arms with other diamonds company-wide. And so Katrina was just talking about that. Sideline Sisters, Drew and Riley, they are not even in the same team, but because they're kind of in the same area, they bounce ideas. They're like, hey, this is working. This is working. Or I just signed four customers off this. Share this with your team. That is literally what we get to do company-wide. Every single Wednesday, you get to be surrounded by the workers and the doers. And it is so incredible because there are people you're going to be like, dang, I'm doing good over here. And then you're going to have somebody that throws an idea that you can just add to what you're doing. And the next thing you know is it's helping your team succeed and it's helping you succeed and you're on to the next level. Okay. So you get to link arms with that. You're eligible for a lot of those bonuses. Now they have brought the bonuses to Emerald, but again, Emerald is two rubies, right? So that's what we're going back to. So you also get, you're eligible for the bonuses. Um, there's like a little winner circle. So some of the trips that the girls were talking about, you get to start getting in on those, right? And so I always say, Diamond, you get to get paid more times than one on the same volume and the same work that you're putting in. Like, can you drop a two in the chat if you would like for that to happen? Because I want it to happen for every single one of you, which is why Katrina and I are on tonight sharing exactly when you simplify this, how stinking doable that is, right? We always are here to try to work smarter, not harder. And so you get that. And so once you go diamond, right, just like once you go ruby, you teach it. You teach it. And you teach those people, hey, those three girls, we're gonna focus on them. Let's get on a Zoom together. Let's do this together or whatever it is. And we're gonna teach them how to go Ruby. And we're gonna plant that vision of knowing this is what you can do to get there. When you pop a personally enrolled diamond, right? You already learned how to pop Rubies. When you pop a personally enrolled diamond, you add an extra $900 to your check. Yeah, yes you do, okay? So, you have to think like if you all of a sudden and they're going to come at different times, but that's a huge jump in your check. So when people say, why diamond, right? Well, why not? Like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you want that for your team? Like if my girl joined for an extra $400 and I can teach her how to help three other people go make that extra $400 and she can bring in over $2,000, her life is going to be incredibly changed. That's my goal here. It, it wasn't just to only change my life. If I wanted to do that, I would have did something that had no other people involved. I would have figured something else out, right? But instead, we do get to do it together. And it is so dang fun when you actually get to do that together. But like Katrina said, there your communication, when you're going to make those things happen, you guys, it has to be constant, okay? And so when we talk about what we do to help people do that, there needs to be a receptive side of that. And think to yourself, are you letting the person that wants to help you help you? 
right? Are, are like, she's there for you. Are you using that? Are you asking the questions? Are you taking the action so you have the questions to ask, right? You have to ask yourself those things because there's two sides to it, right? And just like Katrina said, you can't, you can't want it more than they want it. What comes to that and what makes you want it is knowing what, when you hit that, what it's gonna do for you. And nobody can do, put that value or that meaning to it unless you do it yourself, right? And so you guys, again, it is the very simple things. When you have it works covering your car payment, your cell phone payment, your insurance, your groceries, that is not coming out of your checking account. So the next time you get paid, instead of having $20 in your checking account or a balance less than 500, you still have $1,500 and you're like, wait a second. <laughs> like those were my biggest aha moments. Like I remember just not like I was still working as a nurse, but I'm like, I'm looking forward to this like weekly stuff that's coming in. And I'd like forget that my check was coming from, you know, while I was at the hospital or whatever it is, which is so crazy to even think about. But all it was, was focusing on Ruby and then teaching Ruby. Okay. So just share Katrina, we're almost there, but I just want you to share if you have just the difference or tips on really grabbing your team and coming together when you did go diamond. And I know you spoke on layered leadership. And again, you guys, that's a two way street. Like, do you want to be that person's person that you lead together? Like you grow together? You know, you have to ask yourself, you don't want to be, nobody's going to be left behind. Let's be honest with that, right? Everyone's welcomed. There's enough success for every, for it to go around for everybody. But I want to tell you, if your mentor is ready to go do something, are you ready to do it with them? There, there like has to be a two way streak on both sides. Right. And so I feel like most people have that. And if not, you can create it on your own team for yourself while you're going diamond. So just share like the difference between going Ruby and then coming together to create rubies amongst your team. I do think, like I said, learn it and then teach it. Um, so there were, there was, I was still working my business because I learned Ruby and I was still doing the things, right? To get the volume, to grow the volume, to grow the distributors. But then I was taking separate time. So there's the belly to belly parties and there's the online and there's the ways, the conversations, there's the wrapping people, there's the things that you're doing to grow your volume, right? To work your business. And then there's team training. And there's training your teams and there's pulling people aside and teaching them so they can do the things so it was multiple they were different things and then cheering those people on as they were reaching those levels and so we do a lot of you know um we keep track i have a, a little team page on facebook and we keep track as people are enrolling people we have a, sh a boom shout out we have raffles that we give away so not only am i teaching it but i'm praising you for learning it i'm praising you for doing it i'm praising you for doing the steps to success not just for signing loyal customers and distributors but also for just doing it like hey that was a great post today you know just pouring that love constantly pouring that love back into your team so teaching is one thing but if you don't balance that with like pouring love back into the team it becomes like a boss and a job right like do 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 so it's like here's how you do it and i think you're doing great so there was a lot of that um teaching it and then balancing that out um, but i really think that at one point you just had to own it you had to decide that you were diamond like i am this i will be this i can do this and you put yourself in a my entire like mindset i i think my confidence as a woman like as a woman running a business was next level when i hit diamond compared to the girl who bought a wrap at a wrap party so you have to really shift your mind to i'm not just somebody who might be able to do this like you need to own it you need to know that you are capable of making a great income from this business by helping people make money or helping people use products and buy products. So either way, you're helping people. Um, but we're constantly, constantly celebrating wins um, and cheering on the team and coaching the team and teaching the team and teaching the steps. And I mean, when we have belly to belly things or events or something like that, I'm never saying, hey, there's an event, you should go do it. I'm at the event, like working the event. So you don't want to ever get into a position where you're telling your team, these are things you should do if you're not still willing to do those things. So it's in the, it's in the reverse of what Sarah just said, like, are you willing to do the things that, that your leaders 
trying to teach you to do. But at the same time, as you grow into a leader, and this is how you become a diamond, are you still willing to do the things that you're teaching your team to do? And so you, you never get to a point where you just like ride the wave and stop working the business. Like you're constantly still working alongside of your team. And I think that's where we just grew and we just like blew up like because we did it together. We worked the the events and the parties we online, the posting. I mean, we were post, we were, we had like kind of post six times a day at these times. Like there was always a plan. <laughs> that might not be the plan now because it's evolved and it's different and algorithms and things like that. But there was a plan then with like what time of day we were posting on social media and what that looked like. So like having that plan and breaking that plan down for everybody, we actually did a, um, a small Ruby training that, like not too long ago, um, Riley, Amy and I, and it wasn't planned. It was just like, hey, girls want to do a Ruby training. And we just kind of talked like we are tonight. Um, but Riley had pulled it up and we could share that link because um, it's definitely a good visual of, of a little Ruby training. So we could share that in like your chat and stuff and, and people can watch that. But really just like decide like, I guess they just had to decide that Ruby wasn't enough. Like I was like, it's awesome and it's great. And now that I know I can do that, that's not enough now. And my goal is bigger. And you just had to set your eyes on something else and help other people go Ruby. Just don't lose sight of helping people go Ruby. Don't just solely focus on what your goal is because that's like a one man show and much harder to do with this. You need to have a team. And so you need to focus on what each person is trying to do and how you're going to help them do it. And you really can't decide that like somebody, like you should be a diamond. Maybe they're like, I'm actually really cool with Ruby, thank you, and 500 a month, and that's the upper level that I wanna put into this business, and that's awesome. Like, don't knock it. Like, build the Rubies that wanna be Rubies, but remind the Rubies of how easy they can turn Ruby into diamonds. So, there's a lot of popping Rubies. <laughs> I, yeah, I love all of that. And, and that's the thing is you get to, de you get to decide you guys for yourself, but just know that the people in your upline and who are also working and know what their goal looks like, they're looking for those people who have made that decision. And nobody is trying to like, we are going to say or have belief in you and know that you can do this. But at the end of the day, if you're like, I am here, like everyone's okay respecting that as well right but know that that person who is going for more are going to find the people within that are also like yeah i want to do that i want to do this or whatever it is it's like you those people just kind of speak up so like i said if you are like you know what i'm ready to level up i want to go ruby or i want to you got to just say it and then you got to decide that you are going to truly do it. And then you got to pull out your map and you stick to it. And that's where you ask your mentor as you do things or as they suggest things, don't just listen, but actually go put them into act, go put it into play, right? Because they're telling you how they got Ruby. They're telling you how they, you know, built other rubies or whatever it is or guided that. And so take that with you and know that they, if they're sharing that stuff with you, they want you to see you do that too right? And so the last thing I just want to show you guys is again, that same formula of like, you now have 16 people, right? So you have your four for Ruby, and then these people are going Ruby, right? These three people. And so now you have 16 people total on your team. It is the same formula. Everybody has their ADBB auto ship, auto ship, or if they're doing it the other way to be commission qualified, it would be 150. But we're just going to go with this with the auto ship because this confirms payment, right? And so you have ADBB times 16, you have 1,280. Still stick to your seven loyal customers, which people are going to be in here longer than a month. So they might have more than seven, right? They might have 14. They might have whatever it would be um, or 12, right? If it's their second month, but you have 60 BV for each, right? You got the 420. You're going to take that 420 from those seven customers times the 16 distributors. You have 6,720. You add that with this and you have 8,000 in volume. And everybody is where they would need to be with the qualified legs on your diamond map. And right now, there's just this one still has the fifteen thousand dollar bonus on it, which is one of they, they they change them up all the time. But whatever it may be, 
that you're doing that it just it does the same exact thing so if you're a numbers person um and you're like you know what my team's ready to go we do want to do this like that's where you can kind of break it down and be like we're going for this and you just cheer each other on honestly like just like she was saying it's like somebody gets three cool you're four customers away from you know this or maybe you're two customers away from getting a hundred dollar bonus while you're working to go Ruby. Like that's the cool thing is that you can add and stack on the different payments and the bonuses offered. So thank you so much, Katrina, for popping on tonight and just sharing your wisdom. Like I said, you guys, she's been in for seven years and I've watched her again. We're always building. It's never necessarily a rebuild or this. There's things that are always shifting and you will shift with it. Um, you guys, that's where you have, you develop your strengths. That's where you develop a ton of knowledge. Um, but on top of that, I just knew, I'm like, I literally watched this happening, right? Kind of behind the scenes or as we're chit chatting or as Katrina's like, I'm doing this, this month, or my team's doing this, which is so fun to be a part of. And I'm like, you know what? Other people need to be a part of that too. So thank you so much for sharing all of that. And I hope you guys took a lot of good tidbits out of this. I will post the recording once it's all up and I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Last thing I want to tell you is that we do have an opportunity call Wednesday night. It's Lisa, Katrina, and I, where we just pop on and you guys, I'm going to be real. It takes probably about 20 minutes because we do like to share a little bit of our stories, but it's really quick. And then also another amazing thing that you can offer instead of just voicing back and forth or just sending the information that somebody can pop on. Um, and I'd like to say that we have a pretty good close rate on that. Most people who are popping on and get to hear from other people and see real people, they're like, I can do this right? And we know they can. So we want them to think that. Um, but that is on Wednesday and I'll make sure to post that so you can invite your people to that or potentials onto that. So have a good evening.